Hi, Libra, and thank you for joining me. You're here with Bella Katrina, and I'm bringing you some messages, healing and guidance. I'm a Reiki master, angel therapy practitioner, and um, also um, received the Holy Spirit and spiritual gifts and bringing messages through from your Lord and Saviour. So how have you been? Let's have a cup of tea and chill out. Let our minds relax because you get healing here. This is not just another tarot reader. Got to let your mind relax, feel your feet. Got to be the acupuncture point between Christ consciousness and Gaia consciousness. Yeah, it's you, Libra. Once you fill your heart chakra with this divine consciousness, your mind will be used by a new elixir of love not the static manic matrix that you've been used to. So let me tell you, it took me eight months to unplug from the matrix. And how do you know that you're out of the matrix until you're out of the matrix? Do you know what I mean? Like I didn't even know there was a matrix until I got out. So you just got to get out. I know you're not out because it took me eight months every day. Asking, pleading, connecting, sitting on the earth, getting my upgrades, doing my Reiki energy healing. And I've been working at this for eight years. So I've come to help you get there a little bit faster, saving you time, money and energy. Judge not that you be not judged. 7-1. So he just showed me then as little children. Because we've come from a narcissistic sort of environment where we based our value on people's reactions to us and because they were self-absorbed, um, they weren't in our highest interest. Therefore, we learnt that we needed to go outside of ourselves, absorb everything that other people thought and then deem ourselves not worthy of love. So this is allowing your self-judgment, the critical mind, the inner chatter to relax. Dear God, please let me think of myself as you think of me. See myself as you see me through your eyes. Let me slow my mind down. Please, God, help me get out of the matrix. That's what I used to say. So I can hear your still small voice because I need it. There's another message. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. John 10, 11. 10, 11 is a code as well because you're awakening. And this is also saying you're hearing, you'll hear his voice. He said to me today, you know, you've got to tell them I visit every single one of them. I'm like, wow, you're busy. You're like every everyone. He said, yes. And it's like not all at the same time, but it's all at a time that suits you. But it's like happening he's here to meet you he said that so if you haven't met jesus it's because you're not asking you have to seek him nothing shall be impossible unto you we're heading into a magical realm of possibility right where only your own judgment of self is limiting you isn't that just wow because they're our judgments now because we took them on from the adults when we were younger and we've made it them ours. So now as an adult, you have the ability to say, well, I just choose not to believe that anymore. I choose to believe that I'm doing my best and I choose to believe that God loves me and I choose to believe that he sees what I do. So the relationship is between me and him, nothing to do with anybody else. So get really clear on that, Libra, because that's a test coming up. And then you get, it's like, um, you know, a test of, of self, self-betrayal. So remember that, yep, self-respect. Dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see myself as you see me. Through the eyes of love, thank you for honouring and respecting me. Please guide me to do the same for myself and grant me the courage to speak up on my own behalf. I ask for your protection in all of my relationships so that I am surrounded by loving and kind people. And even I can feel you going, come on, come on, let's get on with the reading. It's like this is what your whole life's like. 
but you never get there. So I'm asking you to come back into this moment, slow your mind down because it's running ahead. The person you're asking about is trustworthy. Thank you for helping me have faith so that I can open my heart wider in my relationships. I am grateful for your protection, ensuring that only trustworthy people are in my life. This is the one you're thinking of, the one that you love, is trustworthy. There's a rainbow shooting straight for it. Write about your thoughts and feelings, but get it on paper, getting out of your mind will help you slow down. Thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so I clearly express myself and glean insight, blessings and healing. So I'm bringing you this wonderful healing around the full moon energy. So what happens is, yes, everything's going well. We're trusting, right? You're learning self-respect me first. And then all of a sudden, the energy of the full moon comes in and brings all this karmic stuff back to be tested again. You said you released this. Let's just see if he's really or she's really released it. Right, So let's bring back an ex-lover who wasn't so good and see will they receive more of the same? That's what I meant by the test. It's a self-respect. Will you take yes, more of the same? Because your heart says no but in your head you go, well, I did ask for love and then they came back so it might be them. So that's silly if I don't do it. Your heart's going, excuse me, I'm the winner here. I'm the boss. It's like no, say no to that. Do you want more of the same? No. So you want something new. So even writing down affirmations, right? Dear guardian angels of my soulmate, thank you for preparing both of us for, to meet. And then blah, 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 blah. Have a chit chat in your letter. You could write one every night, right? That's how anxious you are at the moment. So writing it out every night and then maybe in the morning saying thank you in advance for what you asked for the night before. And because you, if you ask that the angels come into your dreams, Archangel Michael and Jesus, they'll show you in your dream how to get what you asked for. Sorry, that picture of Jesus just sort of smiled at me. These cards sometimes become alive, like in Harry Potter very strange giving and receiving i balance being generous and receptive because both are equally important and that's the balance of the scales you know there's so much mental energy going out there it's like having the car on the hoist and when you get down it's time for a service but you haven't been anywhere so you can get very very agitated and then the judgment voice comes up so it could be a father voice you know a tape of a parent playing over and over and over and then you forget that Jesus gave his life for you to have abundance and joy and the best is yet to come. Slow down, open your heart. That's the secret. Instead of worrying, I pray about this situation to bring about real solutions, which is what I said in the first in the beginning. So Jesus, I can hear him. You'll be able to hear him really loud. He's really loud here for you. And Mother Mary, she's saying, pray to me. She said to me the other day, um, I said, I'm not getting this because I never did the rosary. I'm not Catholic. I haven't had any confirmations or anything like that. I don't even go to church, but I know Jesus. And you give time and attention if you want intimacy in relationships. So he's taught me that. And um, I've been spending time with him and listening, which is not my easiest thing. Not my forte. But prayer is asking, and I'm getting much better at that. I started off going, God, you really need to pray for that person because, like, he is like, whoa, right? God, you need to pray for them. Oh, God, but can you please pray for them? Until I met Father God, he came in. It was like, oh. He said, um, I don't pray. I'm God. That's what it was. I'm not joking. I was like, what? He said, you pray. I don't pray. I'm like, oh my gosh, am I in trouble for something? I don't even know what I've done. That's what it felt like. And then I was like, why would he say that? And then he shows you. He shows me saying it. God, pray for him, pray for them. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm asking God to pray for people. Please. It's too much. So then I tell you, know, please, Father God, forgive me. Of course I do. I pray for people. That's why I'm here. I pray out loud to you. Of course I do. So how do I do that? <laughs> he goes, say, I pray for that person. I'm like, oh.
<laughs> this is so easy. I think I can do this. <laughs> I pray for so and so, God. That's what I do now instead. So it comes and tells you. So just start wherever you're at and then get the, t the listen because he's here. This card reminds you of prayer's powerful and positive effect and asks you to apply it to your present situation. This is especially true if you feel stuck, confused, powerless or in any pain. Surrender these feelings to heaven and ask for divine intervention. Then listen carefully for God's messengers, the angels, who deliver his guidance to you in the form of feelings, signs, ideas, visions and dreams. When you worry about a situation, you actually draw to you more negativity and feelings of paralyzing victimhood. So worrying gives you more things to worry about. In contrast, when you pray, you draw upon the most powerful force in the universe. Mother Mary reminds you to turn worries into prayers by saying, Dear Father God, please help me with my soulmate romantic connection and my bank account. May they both overflow with unconditional love. And then pouring your heart out to him or her about cares and concerns. You'll notice an emotional release immediately upon praying as you shift from fear to faith. Pouring your heart out to Mother Mary, Jesus and your Father so that you don't have to carry that burden around and you can allow them to help you. We are going to look here. Oh, what do they look? Look, look, look. We've got romance angels, we've got the angels, and we are going to do two other snapshots. So let's have, have a look at romance for Libra. Coming up around this massive divine love infusion on planet Earth, opening to receive love, and using their sharp stiletto focus to drive us forward into the new earth. You're like the leaders of this. If only you could get a grip on your thoughts, you know, the matrix. Always goes for the, the brilliant minds, you know, it's working against you. So if you're in separation with somebody at the moment or feeling this or Oh, this feels painful, very painful. So it's just separation. It's not a breakup. So you may only be apart because your partner's out, gone for work. Hmm. And then you're getting married. And he's your soulmate. So these are your prayers. You have been praying. Oh, it's so good. So there's a reconciliation after a separation for some of you. And this was ages ago. This is a long time ago. You may have even forgotten about, not forgotten, but do you know what I mean? Like never thought it was going to come back. This flips back around because this is the outcome, soulmate reconciliation. And that's what we want to see in a soulmate snapshot, don't we? <laughs> yes, 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 right? So career and finance move forward as well. Your lighthearted energy, that's why you have to get out of the matrix so you can flirt and create this. And this is relaxing, retreating, out of the matrix, relaxing, like Sunday morning energy. And here's the wedding. What's that about? Are they going to get married? Oh, my goodness. Yep. You're going to meet your marital partner, right? I was just saying when. By the next holiday season, whatever that means. By the next holiday, see, the next retreat I saw then. So... If you're watching this, keep focus on your finances and career and like just know that that separation happened for you to grow and evolve because your soulmate's coming right back to you and will want a commitment of marriage because this is a soul contract. They're coming in. I'm not joking. It's under divine law of love and you ordered this before. So you knew the elixir of love would come down and awaken and then if you're um, wanting to send a soul call out and you don't have your soulmate yet, get Soulmate Reiki by Bella at reikibybella.com. You can't do it with me anymore. It's actually a video and it's ha less than half price and it's a video attunement and it's very, very powerful. It goes for an hour and you have a free workshop with it. So if you're wanting to strengthen your soulmate connection or send out a call, if you're ready, if you're ready for Soulmate Reiki, then there's already a soulmate ready for you for love. So book it today. 
and get start the workshop which actually identifies the needs and desires it's good even if you're a twin flame it's excellent so let's have a look Libra's getting married going to the chapel and where so it, it doesn't really mean that it means um, going to that next level of commitment whatever that is for you but it can be it can be engagement I just saw a ring okay so this is just a snapshot tarot seeing where you are now at the full moon energy going into the first week of second week of July really isn't it and see the swords see how there's um swords are mental plane aren't they right so you look at that and you think okay there's seven card layout here there's past present future this is you right now how many swords have you got nine nine <laughs> sorry um and over here in the energy around you there's five and over here there's six so you've got five in the energy, six underneath, but you feel like you're experiencing nine and all you want to do is bring down one. You've got to choose one thought that's getting really clear, really clarity. There's a celebration. Here's your reunion. There's a reunion here. Look, this is a wish. I just said um, a relationship starts. That's why the anxieties are really high. So it's been one month of anxiety because it's been like stuck, right? Energy stagnant, not moving. However, you needed to now starts moving or in the next four weeks. So this is um, in the, over the next two to three weeks, there's a status surge in your finance and career. The way you're feeling about it, even if you're a mom who work, who's, who's at home, you might move to a better home. Do you know what I mean? It's like... Let the universe come in and upgrade you. This is an upgrade, also a title promotion at work. And also, you know, it could be the start of this new connection. The new way of thinking about it brings you confidence in. But however, look at you, Libra, look. These are swords, right? So they're air, they're thoughts. So you look at these, you go challenges and problems. No, nah, they're not chasing you. They're not coming for your heart or your back. So they're in your mind and you've put them out there in front of you. So you can duck and weave them. Easy. These ones underneath are really stagnant. It's like a minefield. You know, you're not meant to move. Cautious progress. Any way I go, it's going to blow up in my face. So I might just sit here. It's like, that's intelligent. Good. Because something's coming in for you. And here, again... They're in the ground. You can walk away whenever you like. So this is more like an addiction to the worry, but it has been immense. You've got to get to the Ten of Swords for that to break, right? And I feel that when you get this promotion, you care less about the small things because something really good's happened. The Wheel of Fortune turns your way. And I do see a relationship starting here. Is that true? Justice comes in, right? So this is karma coming back to you. What you sow, you will reap here. So if you've been planning, working hard, you know, getting a grip on um, your mind, upgrading your CV, sending out new marketing materials, launching your new business, keep going for the next three weeks. Just make sure everything's legal. But I do see there's a contract coming up here in love because um, if you, there it is, if, you, um, if you're single and you're watching this, I've never said this before in my life, but you need to go online. You need to go on a dating app. Like, isn't there one called Harmony or something like that? Just ask the Holy Spirit, the angels to guide you to something. There's something here because I see you signing up, putting in your details, and in three weeks you're off. You meet them for, through a friend. That's for someone who hasn't met anybody yet. In one month you get, you get this. Your lover. So I have the perfect lover in the perfect way and they will be offered to me today. So people say, how are you going? You go, I'm in love. You go, really? Have you met somebody? No. I'm already in love. <laughs> they go, oh, okay. You're like, yeah, I don't need somebody to be in love. But when I'm in love, somebody will appear and it's my soulmate. So do your soul call out. And I think you really need to get, this is your needs and desires as well and getting clear and cutting crap out of your life. You know, stressful people who nag you and annoy you and agitate you because you're lifting up into a different surge, right? In your business, in your love life, in your career, in the way you think about yourself. 
and then it's going to carry you through. This is not your imagination. This is not one of those times where you build yourselves up to fall down, right? You keep going. The wheel of fortune just keeps going. And this could, in, this energy could initiate the beginning of a love match, a relationship, right? We've got to balance everything. And there's one more reflection looking at the past, right? Done with all that, you pick the big love heart at the top. Because this is you learning that you deserve it. So you say, I deserve love, willing to accept, right? Thank you, Jesus, for bringing my divine love partner. Help me open my heart. Show me who do I need to forgive. I know it sounds boring. I used to roll my eyes at this stuff until I did it. I was like, wow. It's, it seems so, when you're in the matrix, it seems so dumb talking about that stuff. And that's all that matters. That's how I knew. When you're out of the matrix, you realize it's your heart. It's the only thing that matters. And you have soul dominion over it. Freedom. Let's have a look. Libra, thanks for joining me here and your wonderful comments and for supporting my channel and for booking your private readings with me. I offer you a free upgrade where you clear your energy field and go into your relationships, life purpose, and we do a few snapshots on what's happening in your love life and career. So get that as soon as possible if you haven't connected with me already. Da -na -na -na. This is you getting your support from your guardians, from your guides, your spirit guides, guardian angels, loved ones who've passed over, galactic brothers and sisters, your light tribe. They're really close, healing you. They're saying just do more here. Okay. Because you've done so much in this time, but there's definitely a need for healing. So, you know, I offer a process which is Reiki Level 1 with a Magic Healing Package and Reiki Level 2 with a Soul Session 6 pack. And that's a 10-week program. So it activates you, integrates you and anchors you for life. Right, and then um, because it's like this is what you want. You want freedom. So instead of asking what you think freedom, what will give you freedom, just go straight for freedom. Thank you, God. I want the feelings of freedom to increase every day. And please go to my meditation list, 45 minutes, 7 minutes, 11 minutes. Get your Reiki level 1 and 2 as soon as possible. And if you haven't got your integration therapy, do that. But first, you can do Boogie Shabam if you haven't already. We connect on Skype. You get healing and messages in that. And it does. it is life-changing and it's time. So we can anchor you in the fifth dimensional crystal grid so that you can open to source and get the most brilliant, unbelievable, amazing ideas and take them through to new earth and change the way that we live here on planet earth because that's what we need your brilliant mind and at the moment it's taken over by the matrix so you can't hear your heart so unplug open your heart and get ready for the experience of a lifetime reach out to reiki by bella.com um, for psychic readings Reiki attunements and integration therapy. I love you. Thanks for watching and joining my channel, um, Bella Katrina. And I look forward to meeting you again at reikibybella.com. Love you. Bye for now.